everyone and welcome to Yagi's Corner. So today I'm very excited. I finally got to this video. I've been wanting to get to this video so bad. It's the e.l.f. Cosmetics um, makeup application video. So I'm going to tell you right off the bat, these products are very good. The eyeshadows perform beautifully. They go on smooth, silky, and again, as you know, I am 50 years old. My eyelids, the skin on my eyelids are already starting to uh, crep up a little bit, but they've gone on great. Um, the blushes are smooth, they sink in. I This was with a blush palette that I purchased. This is the combination of two blushes. Um, I've also used pomegranate in the past. These products are just blowing me away. So I usually have, when I used to go into the office um, for work, my makeup bag there and it tended to it they tend to be products that you know if i lost them on the way with the back and forth if i lost them i wasn't you know it wasn't a big loss i'd be upset because they're my favorites but it wasn't a big loss but even if you're not you know if you're on a budget or not a budget okay and i say this especially for the younger people out there by no means am i promoting that you have to go out and buy a $70 blush, $70 eyeshadow palette. No, I mean, there are so many other things you can do with that money, like feed yourself, very healthy, um, pay off student loans, a bunch of other things. Mind you, again, I'm in my 50s and I just started purchasing luxury makeup maybe a couple of years ago. So before then, in my time, we only had CoverGirl, Maybelline, and maybe L'Oreal. But now, all these um, budget-friendly, good quality products have come out that you can get a, such a pretty look with e.l.f. Cosmetics. And I purchased online at CVS, and I have, I'm, I'm part of that CVS Extra Care program. The amount of coupons I get, I mean, I get 30% off coupons, 35% off coupons. I purchase them separately. Like this week, they had a promotion going on. You get $3 if you spend $8 on e.l.f. So I had three separate purchases and I got my $3 off. So again, very affordable, but not just affordable, beautiful. Anyways, I'm rambling on. If you like this look, please continue to watch the video. And I thank you for visiting. Bye. Good morning, everybody. And welcome back to Yagi's Corner. It is seven o'clock. It's a little bit muggy here in Miami. Just walked the dog, had fixed my hair a little bit, walked the dog and it went flat. Anyways, um, thank you for coming back to my channel. If this is your first time, thank you. So today we're gonna have a full face, almost full face of e.l.f. products. And I actually purchased um, some more yesterday because I had some CVS coupons and we're going to have a full face of e.l.f. So I'm just adding a little bit of moisturizer to my face. I'm using the Bobbi Brown um, face base. Now we're going to add some of the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. This is the color Light 210N, okay? The other one I purchased way too light, so I'm gonna see if I can give this to my sister. All right, so I'm going to apply some that's one pump and that's way too much, I can tell you already. And I'm going to grab my BK Beauty 101. Okay, here we go. Done, that went on really good. Okay, so that was just a little bit of moisturizer, the base, and we're good. And I still have some left over. All right. So now we're going to go in with, um, this is that uh, illuminating palette. They're all very light colors, but I'm going to try to use this one, which is the darkest of them all, to apply um, around the perimeter of my face and try to use it as a contour. Okay, so I am grabbing my BK Beauty 107, all right, and I'm going into this darker color. Okay. 
okay you just have to work at it a little bit and build it up so now i am going to use with one of my eyeshadow brushes which is the 201 i'm going to attempt to contour my nose with that same color Okay, then I'm going to add in some concealer, just a tiny bit. There we go. This is not elf concealer, it's another concealer. Okay, and I'll smooth that out with my finger. We are going to apply some eyeshadow. So, some of the new products I picked up from my last um, e.l.f. beauty haul was this uh, nude palette, which is called Need It Nude. Beautiful. I also picked up the blush palette, okay, in light. Okay, and then, sorry, one more thing and I picked up some baked highlighter. Okay, so let's go ahead with that nude palette. Look at that, very pretty colors. Very pretty, you can take this with you on a trip and you ha can have several looks. You can go light, you can go dark, you can go gold. I really like it. So I'm going to use my BK Beauty 201 and I think I'm going to dip into this color for all over my lid. There we go. Honestly, you could just do this look with a little bit of eyeliner mascara and it will look beautiful. I, you know what? These, um, elf eyeshadows um really impressed okay so now i'm gonna go in with my 205 okay i'm just cleaning it a little bit and i'm going to use a darker color for my crease and i think i'm going to use this one the third one up oh, sorry this one okay So they are a little bit powdery, so just make sure you um, remove the excess. Okay. So like with all my other eyeshadow applications, I'm going to start here and then just go up. Okay. Beautiful nude pinky look. Now. With that other palette that I had picked up, which is the Prism eyeshadow palette, which they're basically all shimmers, but beautiful selection of shimmers. I'm gonna go in and select one and just um, dab it in the middle of my eyelid and in the inner corners. So I think I'm going to use this pink one, okay? Oh, and I wanted to show you, I don't have the nail polish here. So I don't know if you can tell this eye sh um, um, nail polish. It's by China Glaze and it's a sparkly pink. Uh, I'll link it down below, but I thought it was so pretty. It, and right now at CDS, it's buy one, get one free. So. All right, so just laying some down here in the middle. There we go, love it. Okay, now we're going to blush. Mm, I'm a little bit scared about these because they are, they look very dark. Even though it says light, they are dark, but 
I can imagine, they didn't have the dark palette there, but if this is, it's a little hard to open, which is good. You know, they'll be protected. Oh my God. Okay, so this is light. So they didn't have the dark um, palette, but I can just imagine the dark. This would be, I think, good on all skin tones. So I'm gonna go in with this. I am gonna mix them. What they say is you can play around and mix and customize your own blush. So I think I'm gonna go in with this one and this one. So this is more corally and this is more like light terracotta. So I'm gonna go between these two. And I'm using the BK Beauty uh, 107. So I'm gonna go into these two. It is very, it's picking up a lot of um, product. They are a little bit powdery, but that's fine. Okay, let's go in here. I'm just gonna use this mirror. Okay. Nice. Now, I know this is a lot, so I'm just gonna buff some out, but I just wanted to lay in the color so it can sink into my skin. So I'm going to use a fluffy brush. 103 and just buff some out. Okay, there we go. Nice. All right, now we're going to use. Now, remember, I also have that other um, mini bite size. Um, well, it comes in the eyeshadow bite size palette uh, size, but this is called a pomegranate. So there is a highlighter here, um, which you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I have a, I'm gonna insert a swatch, but see that's more of a rose gold um, highlighter. Then I also purchased, what is it? I also purchased this one. So we're gonna try this. Now this is baked. So when I swatched it, it was a little bit hard. So it's gonna be interesting to see. And it didn't look like I was picking up a lot. So, okay. This is it, very beautiful color, but it's hard. I mean, okay. There we go. They're very similar, so I think I'm. I think I'm gonna go ahead and use this one. Okay, and I'm using the same brush that I used to buff away some of that um, blush. The 103. Then I'm gonna take some and put some in the inner corner and see how that works out. Yeah. Very nice. Then, okay, like it. I'm gonna go in and use my Makeup Forever in brown. I'll speed through this part. Okay. I'm gonna do my eyebrows.
I'm just gonna powder a little bit all over for those of you that would like a less um, luminous look I would leave it just like this okay I'm just going to powder just a little bit okay. and now I'm just gonna apply any nude lipstick I have laying around And there we go. It's complete. I really love these products.